Garden Spells is a book of, of all my influences as a reader. There's a little bit of magical realism. There's a little bit of romance. There is a little bit of southern fiction in it, uh, women's fiction, foodie lit, uh, fairy tale aspects, all, all stirred into a pot like a dish. It is about two sisters, two magical sisters, who reconnect after many years. And, and when I wrote Garden Spells, I realized I had found my voice by, by tapping into all my strong influences as a reader. My early influences were picture books, children's books, The Country Bunny and the Little Gold Shoes, and Sylvester and the Magic Pebble. As I grew older, I, I really got into a sci-fi fantasy kind of thing. I remember Anne McCafferty's Restoree was profound when I read it. Um, when I was a teenager, I loved romances, and that was all I would read. I remember E.M. Hull's The Sheik. I loved that book when I was, when I was a teenager. And one of the first books of magical realism I ever read was Jeanette Winterson's The Passion, which was exquisite. And um, Fred Chappell's I Am One of You Forever was my first exposure to magical realism in a southern setting. And I call Garden Spells Southern Fried Magical Realism because, um, not well, it's magical realism, it's set in the South, but we're all very food and fried oriented in the South, and Garden Spells has a, has a huge food element to it. The Sugar Queen continues on that trend. It, it, is, it also has a small town setting. It also involves food, and it also has romance, but it's, um, it's a little darker than Garden Spells. It's funny, when I wrote Garden Spells, I thought I was writing a very dark novel. I thought, uh, because magical realism it tends to have a very dark literary aspect to it. But I was very surprised when I started getting feedback from it that people were inspired by it and, to and told me it was so light and uplifting. And I thought I had written a dark book. But I love that readers have taken away from this something uplifting. People bring such different perspectives to the table. and. It's one of the more interesting things I've learned as a writer is that what I write is not always what people get. And then it's, it's no longer mine when I finish writing it. It is the readers and sharing that people get, get their different perspectives together and learn something new. It, but it's, it's no longer my story. It's theirs. Mm -hmm.